Just ranching. Woo! Yeah, get that feed. Listen, JB. Get back. I got it. Your not... problem is, no, listen. Okay. Before you become one with the bull on their back, you gotta become one with the bull on the ground. You gotta be their friend. You're not friendly enough. These are some good looking bulls because they're taken care of. Good job, Jerome. That's why he's got me out here to look after them. Look at them. Look how big and beefy they look. Ready to go 90. Oh, is that the one you rode right there? No, that's the a goat. One? I don't ride goats. There's a difference in riding goats and goat yoga. You ought to know that by now. Hold this. You gotta talk to them. You gotta be their friends. Are oh, you feeding the total equine to the bulls? Good job. That's why Jerome doesn't hire you very much. Working on a ranch, there's so many chores. Ugh. A bull's not equine. Watch Good move. Watch Smart him. move. I think Dale would be a great ranch hand if you didn't have to see him. They'll come up here any minute. That's why you don't hire Dale Brisby to do anything, Jerome. Well, he said he knew what he was doing. He's feeding horse feed to your bulls. It's the difference between equine and bovine. It's on purpose, JB. Jerome, he needs some inspiration. I'm gonna go tell the bulls to come up here to this feed bunk. You gonna have some bonding? Bonding time. Come on, bulls. Part of being a good ranch hand is becoming one with the livestock. I think he's about to get run over. Come on. A little closer. <laughs> He's scared of me. Oh, yeah, you're really friends with him, huh? Listen, you're the student. I'm the teacher. He's scared of me because I'm a good bull rider, and that's what we're trying to get you to be. Jerome, tell us about when you were a bull rider. JB, you know what the difference between the guy who's winning 35th in the world and the number one guy in the world. Chunking the deuce like this. Like Jess Lockwood Dale, did. Dale. What's that? It's your mindset. The guy that wants to win first. Like me. The guy. I win first. Dale, every time. I'm trying to help. Yeah, you. Jerome, you handle it. I'm trying. You talk to him. It's their mindset. There's nothing no different than the guy that wins first and the guy that wins 35th. The guy that wins first, he just wants it more. You got to want it. And he has long hair. Dale. Aviators. Dale. You know what? I'm just going to let you talk to him. I'm just going to let you talk to him. How did you find this guy? He kidnapped me. Don't bring him back over here. I was trying to get rid of him. God. Woo! Woo! We're going to feed him total bull now instead of total equine. you into this? I want you to become one with the bull. Let me look up over here and see if they're coming. And this is going to get you back on track? I have no idea. Woo! Come on. What are we doing? Be quiet. Be quiet, JB. Stay down. I'm going to reach over and pet him. They're getting close. I think somebody peed right here. This is all part of the plan. I'm trying to get you to be one with the bull, okay? Okay. This is still Don't stupid. Worry. JB, do you hear him? Yeah, they're eating behind me. Okay, they're right above us. What I'm gonna do is we're just gonna reach over with our hands and pet them so we can be one with the bull. All right, JB? All three. One, two, three. That was stupid. Did you get one? 
No. No. I think that was good, JB. I still didn't touch one. Okay, I think Jerome has one you can touch. I think you're a lot closer to becoming one with the bull. You feel like it? No. Don't worry. So let me get finished with this whole phase and you'll feel like it. You just better be glad that I'm the teacher in this scenario and not the student. I'd spur you down. Get in the truck, JB. You don't tell me what to do. All right, Jerome. Come on, Jerome. Oh, you got nothing. Come on, speed it up. Speed it up. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, speed back up. Slow down. Come on, Jerome. Woo! Let me drive. Slow down. Slow down. That's a big old bump. Woo! JB, how inspired are you by Jerome and I? Jerome? Yes. You, no. You didn't just see me go 90 on that hay bale? Anybody can ride a hay bale. Whatever. I just wish Jerome could ride. That way you could finally be inspired. It's true. I can ride. What? Yeah. I mean, I've been riding my horse. I just can't get on. I, I gotta get somebody to help me get on. You can, you could ride? All you gotta do is get on? It's serious time, Jerome. It's serious. How can Dale Brisby convince Jerome Davis to get on a bull? Yeah, I mean, I, I come from the day when the guys were made of steel and the bucket shoots were made of wood back then. Who? So what do we gotta we, do? Just get me on. We can get you on. We got a problem. <laughs> Tiffany. My wife. Can y'all take her just so I can get downstairs to get my bull rope? I gotta have my rope. You're talking to Dale Brisby and J.B. Mooney. Of course we can distract we her. We got little. this. We can, we can get her distracted. We can get me on. Okay. It'll work. It's a great idea. You're welcome. Should we leave her? Keep her going. Keep her going. Okay, whoa. Back her on up. Back her on up. It's like... Let me get positioned on my bail. Remember him right. We could leave. I want to keep spurring this thing. Back her on up. Well, You're good. You're me. good. That's a good idea. I'm about ready. You don't leave him? Okay, yeah. whoa. I do. All right. Here. You I'm gonna spur this no, bail no. all the way home. Okay. Ready? Ready. Dale, you hanging on good? Yeah, I'm hanging on. Hang whoa, on that's too good, far. Dale. That's too far. No, you're good. Just hang on That's right there. That's too far. That's too far. See you, Dale. Later. See ya. That's like two miles to the house. Later. How about another sandwich? You got it. Where, where did Joe, where's Jerome at? Don't worry about Jerome. <laughs> the idea here? is to sneak Jerome away. There's an art to distracting people. Christmas is right around the corner. Mom, Where'd you get him for Christmas? Hey, did your mom not teach you not to talk with your mouth full? What? Hey, where'd you get this guy, JB? I'm Dale Brisby, this guy. Don't act like you haven't seen hey, my videos. at me. I've told you about bringing these outlaws in here. Not sure why, but when you put the two of us together, people really don't trust us. We're the most trustworthy guys a man could ever meet. You run with an outlaw, you die with an outlaw. <laughs> I tell it like it is. I'm so honest, you can shoot dice with me over the phone. So what'd y'all say you did with Jerome? Where's he at? What'd y'all do with him? Listen, if he, was hungry. he ain't here just now. But why he's not here, I want to talk to you about his Christmas. What did you get him? I haven't got him anything yet, then. I've got an idea. What? Okay, I'm thinking like a new set of bull riding chaps and spurs. I don't think so, because then he would think he could actually use them, and we're not doing that. We're not going there. That's just hmm. rubbing salt in the wound right there. I was gonna get him a new bull rope. I don't know, me personally, Maybe. I think he'd appreciate it. Well, I say no, okay? And I don't y'all stir anything up like that either. 
I say, may I have another sandwich? Yes, you may. It's only my second one, by the way. Hope you're not allergic to poppy seed. I thought it was sesame seed. No, poppy seed. Whatever it is, I'm gonna go 90. Which is what we're trying to do with JB here. Do you have any words of wisdom to inspire him? Don't let go. Don't let go. That's what Jerome, and when Jerome asked him what to do on the flank, and he said, just don't screw this up. That's no pressure involved in that. Just don't screw yeah. this up, JB. Jerome, where are you at? Don't worry about well, where he's at. Everybody, will be minute. fine. You're hosting he your guest. He might be hungry. Uh, he hasn't okay. eaten yet. You're hosting your guest. You're being a good host. Well, you know how he gets out in that buggy, JB. That's, and he then he's to... on to the next one. You never know where he's going. Yeah, he could be going on the old son. He's probably being going. completely safe and just. We're keeping it 90. He's probably he keeping it 60. He apparently doesn't know drum as well as we do. Ah, drum danger is always safe. Yeah. Or he's out of gas. I don't think he had much gas when he left here. One or the other. You, I don't even have my cell phone on me. Do y'all have yours? I have mine. Don't worry. All right. Well, we'll keep tabs on him. We will take care of Jerome. Don't right. you worry. Well, I need a better idea for Christmas besides that stupid one about the shaps. And what about and this? What if you go to Walmart, pick up our Christmas presents for him, and you get him a Christmas present, and we'll take care of Jerome for the rest of the day. You don't even have to worry about it. Uh, we got it. Yeah. You're welcome. I don't take know care about of that. him. It would be if I left him alone with Jerome. Bad things usually happen. I think you're a good guy. I know. I was about to say. I feel like we're like two of the most responsible no, people you could ask. I'm not for. saying you're bad people. I'm just saying. Very Things responsive. happen necessarily when JB's around and just drone that I don't like. It's a little dangerous sometimes. You have he doesn't need anybody things. edging him on. Don't worry about Jerome. We'll take care of it. Yeah. We're responsible human beings. Yeah. What could possibly go wrong anyway? Okay, come on. Come on, guys. We gotta we got to hurry time. up. I think we got plenty of time. Plenty of time. Get the front. Get the front. Yeah. We are bucking some bows, boys. Ouch. Pop it rolled over my, my foot. That won't get me come killed. Woo, it's bucking bow time, boys. It's yeah, bucking bucking bows. bows. Hey, hey. Oh, I freaking. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I yeah, stairs. <laughs> Jerome would only be willing to do this for two people. J.B. Mooney and me. I think... <laughs> Come on, JB, I'm doing like all the work here. Come on. <laughs> Y'all gonna get me killed. Not really sure why Jerome decided to do this, especially for Del Brisby. Let's We're go. not gonna get there. Let's JB, go. I'm doing my part. I'm back here. It's hard to make it. Have a bigger one. Take a break. Y'all are idiots. Come on. Whew. Okay, let's Hurry break up. this sucker. Okay, we gotta hurry. Tiffany's not here. We only have one shot at this, and it's amazing, and I'm excited because this is as cowboy as it gets. Jerome, how long has it even been since you've been on a bull? Man, it's, it's, it's 20 years. We're, 20 years? We're gonna make it. We're it's gonna, gonna recreate happen. 20 year dream. Oh, the Look, smell of rosin right now. Dale, you got to, when I hit the ground, you gotta drag me out of there. I'm not much of a bullfighter, Jerome. JB, you got my back. I'll drag you we out We got there. this, we okay, can do it, okay. we got it. Okay, for, Let, for you, it. only because you're in a wheelchair, I will be a bullfighter. All right. This is awesome. Okay. <laughs> yes. Where's she? All right. Y'all. We gotta hurry, hurry before out. Tiffany let's gets go. here. Okay. Well, let's, you okay. gotta always remember if the sucker kicks, here we go. you get my hands. This is cowboy. All right. Jerome's Grandma. getting on a bull. Grab my leg. The time has come for Jerome to inspire JB. I am surprisingly not having to... second thoughts about yeah, okay. this. This is gonna be an epic moment. Yeah, I'm just late. excited, is all. Seriously? Not sure I'm really okay with hanging out with Dale again. I'm gonna help him with his wrap. You help him with his wrap. JB, if you can't, you got him. While you're getting his wrap. Right. You got him? You got, are you wearing the right buckle? Okay, yeah, he's got on his good belt buckle. Okay, he's got him. Oh, he's got him. <laughs> All right, Dale, are you ready? Yeah, let me get ready. Hey, Boomer, I know you're a good cameraman, but I'm a professional. I don't trust you with this shot. Look, listen, I don't trust you with this shot, all right? Seriously, Dale can't trust a real camera guy? Listen, okay, here we go. Get ready. You ready? 
All right, I'm gonna crack the latch. You ready? Outside. Uh, he said outside, boys. Outside. Let him, let this him freaking him. camera. Come on, guys. Going. Okay, I think I got He's it. Running. I don't know. This camera is messing up. It's not me. I oh, swear. Ronnie. Just, I oh, think I hit record. Ronnie. I may not He's have. Really Look, come on. Ronnie. What's going on with this camera? Get the hell out you should have used an iPhone. I thought those big cameras would be like using an iPhone. I'm so proud of Jerome. He actually did it. Hey, at least the audio worked. gas tank. Oh, is that a candy bar? I could have sworn I filled up. Thousand miles from Radiator Ranch to J.B. Mooney's house, and I run out of fuel two miles away. This is ridiculous. How far is J.B.'s house? Anyway, hey! Brake lights, brake lights, hey! Hey, we get a quick ride. Dale, what are you Samantha? doing? Samantha? What are the chances that Samantha is driving by? What are you doing out here? I'm you know, home. Dale Brisby, famous bull rider. Can I get a ride? Can you unlock Maybe. the door? Maybe. Please. I thought unlock you were it. a hitchhiker. Please, can I get in? Hit unlock. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Oh, we got breakfast. Your favorite. Awesome. What did we get? Uh, biscuits with sausage, some eggs. Perfect. Oh, starving. That's JB's. He's gonna be mad at you. No, he won't care. I'm his hero. True. That's why I'm here to get him back to going 90. Somebody needs to. Jackpot, I love sausage biscuits from Cracker Barrel. JB's biscuits just taste better. I know, they do, don't they? Uh-huh. Maybe it's just that uh, it's a stolen biscuit. Safety first. Put your seatbelt on. Thanks for the ride, by the way. No problem. On to the next one. I love morning time. There's nothing any better than breakfast with the ones you love. Morning! JB! 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 Sometimes I get in late, and I like to sleep in. Why? It's your favorite bull rider. Why are you here? To what? get you back in the arena going 90. How did Dale even get here again? You gotta get back on the bull, the metaphorical and literal bull. I'm here. I'll do it later when I get up. It's like the sun's been up for like a few hours. Man. Just go. Every other bull rider in the PBR has already been up, worked out, ate breakfast, done yoga, and got their dog out of bed. It's time to go. That's why I'm cooler than the rest of them. I don't have to do all that. Breakfast is ready and it's getting cold. It's been oh, I'm so athletic. Let's go. It's time to ride bulls. You hungry, self? Are you hungry? Let's go. JB, let's go. What? I didn't get you this breakfast for no reason. I got the breakfast, not Dale. Well, you didn't fix me a plate? Fix your own. I went and picked it up. No, he didn't. I did it, as usual. Why does this biscuit have a bite out of it? I might have gotten hungry in the car. But you left it in the box. Well, I didn't eat all of it. At least I was considerate. JB. Well, why didn't you take that one and finish eating this one? I just didn't think of that. Hurry up and sit down. We got a long day ahead Here, of us. Here, you can have that one. We have a long day ahead of us, and it starts with breakfast. Eat the eggs with your fork. There's a fork right under your hand. That's just for special occasions. This is a special occasion, I'm trying to get you back to going 90. Have you forgotten already why I'm here? You're in training. Okay? And breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Right. Does he ever get up before 10 o'clock? I'm not really a morning person, so don't talk to me before noon. Jess Lockwood's probably been up for four hours. Today, I'm gonna take you somewhere and we're going 90. In more ways than one. You know we're in North Carolina. Yeah, I live here. Well, this is like the racing capital of the continent. 
Okay. I'm have you ever awesome. raced anything? Yeah, I've raced a lot. Do you have any friends that race? I don't have any friends. No surprise. Have you ever raced any cars? Like, in a race? Yeah. No. What's the fastest you've ever gone in a car? Uh, me personally, I was running 120. And then I was oh, going a lot probably. faster than that with the race car driver. What race car driver? Tony Stewart. How was bragging camp? You ask. Mr. Name Dropper. Listen, Tony was busy today, okay? He was at yoga. So. You go yoga? Yes. Sophia. Your daughter. Come here, yes. Sophia. She listens so much better than you do. How big do you think she'd get if I gave her this whole biscuit? She eats all day long. Her heart's racing. You're tempting her. She knows that breakfast is the most important meal deal. I think if, if she were to... Well, there must be, be breakfast all day for her. If she were able, she would use a fork. Sorry, that was my bite. That's I might, so nice. I might just take her with me to I go 90 think. today. Are y'all gonna go 90 together? I don't think you're getting out of it that easy. I hope you're ready. You really need to eat all that. I was born ready. <laughs> Why do you think you can just show up, roll up into the house, wake me up while I'm sleeping, and boss me around? Because I brought breakfast. No, you didn't. I was with Samantha when she brought it. It's like the same thing. Did you <laughs> pay for it? Pretty much. Hmm. You are getting heavy, <laughs> Sophia. Hurry up, finish your breakfast. We got plenty to do. Don't worry about, oh. I think I got heartburn. You want some Tums? I need some Tums. Don't worry about where we're going. Just listen to me. You do that, you'll win. You don't, you won't, okay? We're keeping it 90. Don't worry, Sophia. Dale's the boss today. Are you ready? Let's go. I'm taking my biscuit with me. It's gonna be a good day, old son. A good day to go 90. Oh, yeah, nice. Oh, oh iron gut, huh? I gotta change plans. I'm gonna train you to train me. It's like a year. Normal bull rider. Most any kind of physical activity is easy for Dale Brisby. You don't mind if I take all this out, do you? Just make yourself at home. I'll fix it later. I bet you will. I got a bigger waist than you. That's all right. More muscle. Is this the vest you wore whenever you bucked off at World Finals? Yeah, that would be the same vest. Same vest? Same vest. I'll make it famous for you. Wait a second. Safety first. Rule number seven. You're ready. I stay ready. That way I ain't got to get that way. Still not sure Dale Brisby has ever ridden a bull. That's how you spur into the well, JB. Into the well. You slapped him about Whoa. four times already. That's all right. They'll give it to me. Time to get off. Woo! 
I'm J.B. Mooney. I'm hung up. I'm J.B. Mooney. I'm hung up. Woo. How many was that? Probably 90. On to the next one. Just like I can feel a bull sneaking up over my shoulder, I can feel something right now. Because I'm Dale Brisby, old son. And I go. I saw you coming a mile away, dog. Yeah. God, you stink. <laughs>